Y589. Wow. First, on the Google, Ripple to $6 or $5.89. Aniasis. 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 Ripple to six or six hundred dollars. Hey, guy. You can't call it Ripple anymore, remember? We're calling it XRP now. Hmm. Yes. This is uh, all we're doing for the whole video. XRP589Y. Roll the intro. That's right, and this thing. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a fiduciary, and I'm not offering financial advice. I'm looking at information and reviewing it with you. Also, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that like button to show support to our channel, and click that bell to get notifications for whenever I post videos next. What is the deal? Hey yo, how's it going? Cheers and welcome back. What do you think of these bad boys? These are called blue blockers. This is how you know, this is how you know you're winning in life. Now, today we have very serious video to make. you are new to XRP and Ripple, you might say, why 589? Why 589? Why does everyone just keep saying 589? 589! 589! Have you heard of XRP? It's gonna go to 589! Oh, oh really? 589 what? F Five dollars? And 89 cents? In case you haven't heard or don't know, that's right, that's right. In case you haven't heard or you don't know, today we're doing 589 video. Why 589? Who made 589? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Tell me more about 589 Joe. There's gray so if you're not new to XRP, and if you've been around XRP for a while, you might know why 589. You might know why people are yelling 589, why people are still calling out 589. End of year, 589. If you wanna know, I'm not the first person to make ridiculously high price predictions on XRP. In fact, I know I upset a lot of people who were possibly thinking I should do more serious videos. And this is the storage room. And down the hallway here, we have another- But, have you guys ever heard of, have you guys ever heard of Plato? You guys know who Plato is? He wrote this sweet story called The Cave. That's right, it's actually a parable. We'll run through it really quick in case you guys have never heard of it before. Basically, here is a group of people. They were born into this chamber, like a cave. Their backs are pinned up against the wall, and all they can see is this wall in front of them. Behind them is a fire, and when people walk by in front of the fire, it projects shadows on the wall that they're looking at. They're all chained to the wall their whole life, and all they can see is shadows on the wall, and that is reality that they know of. That's the reality they know. That's the one they talk about. They think it's real. One day, someone breaks free from his shackles, and he turns around, and he realizes that all the things he thought were real were actually shadows. So he goes outside, and he sees all these objects for the first time. What he thought was a person was the shadow of a person. He sees a person for the first time, and he's like, boom, mind blown. He goes back to the cave. He goes back to the cave and says, guys, this isn't real. Let's go, I'll show you reality right outside the door. And they say, shut up, dude. And he says, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. I have something, it's really important, you guys should listen. They said, shut up, dude. Stop talking crazy. You're challenging our beliefs and our and our existence and our reality. Let's kill him. He's a witch. 
burn him. <laughs> so they killed the guy. And the lesson, the story basically is that um, you could possibly see through the veil of the illusion and understand the reality, but if you turn around and try to tell someone about it, they're probably not ready to let go of their attachment to the illusions of reality. That's how I feel when I make price predictions for XRP. For sure. Now, I don't want to be killed by the community for trying to come back and tell you guys what's really happening outside the cave. But to find that somewhat balance, I'm going to go ahead and look at this 589 price. So the original 589 price prediction was made by Bearable Guy. Some guy that's called Bearable. Uh, he's a bear. He's a bear, okay? And he also uh, he's also the one that's known for this um, drawing, I guess. Who is Bearable Guy? One, two, three. Where did he come from and where did he go? He popped out of nowhere like Cotton Eye Joe and took the cryptosphere by storm. <laughs> the reason for this is that BG123 made multiple predictions which eventually turned out to be true. So his predictions that turned out to be true, what were they? He posted a picture of MoneyGram that hinted a partnership with Walmart which turned out to be true. <gasps> King of the Britons. Oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand, it's people groveling. Sorry, and don't apologize. He posted a picture of a school children months before Ripple made a huge donation to DonorsChoose.org, therefore funded all the projects that were put on the site by teachers from all around the USA. Hmm. The speculation about the identity of Bearable Guy has gotten to the point where people speculate that Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, is the potential insider. BG123. It's safe to say that we should take this bearable guy personality serious. But to what extent? A 589 price prediction for the end of 2018 is not small talk. This guy is serious. He knows stuff we don't, or does he? Question mark. Nobody knows for real. Some of his claims have been debunked, while other predictions have been completely correct. Now, Bearable Guy also pointed out that Ripple is more than a digital asset. It's a security for banks all around the world. Bearable Guy believes these banks will adopt XRP in the years to come, which will make XRP the global standard. 589, end of year, 589. I started looking at this and I started playing with some numbers and I was thinking like, how do we get, a, do this? First, we need a couple previously stated facts. We need to know one market cap of crypto entirely at 300 billion. The inflow was only 6 billion. This is the difference from inflow and market cap. We talk about this in all of our videos. So you can go watch this in market cap explained, um, 20K explained and market cap myth demystified short version, all those. Yes, you too can have a body like mine if you're not careful. Pathetic, isn't it? But here to show us what the human body can look like is rather a remarkable man. We've just been watching him in action, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, first of all, I have to compliment you for your physical development because you really look very athletic and good, so don't put yourself down. You're just saying. Okay. So, what's the idea? I use this money chart a lot, and uh, we bring it up a lot. All the world's money visualized. And we're just gonna look at this one spot. And we're thinking like, how did Bearable Guy get to 589? What is he looking at? What is Bearable Guy looking at? Um, is he an insider? Who is Bearable Guy? Um, here's another article on Steemit three months ago. Who is Bearable Guy and why you believe he's an insider? Why someone believes he's a Ripple insider? Um, months ago, he stated on February 14th, he will give a price prediction on Ripple and he was true to his word. He gave an end of year 2018 price prediction of 589. Now this number may also be a hint and it might even be $22. Just my random guess because 589 doesn't seem believable. I would say impossible. So what's this? A suggestion that it's not actually 589, but $22. So $22. Now, what would we need? What inflow would we need to see a $22 ripple? Hey, Sharita. You want a cigarette? Shut up! Well, as of right now, um, this would be times 10 would be a $60 billion inflow would put us at about $4 ripple. Uh, doubling that times 10 again, 600 billion inflow, that's a $40 ripple. That's double what we 
that's double what we're shooting for, right? $40 Ripple is a $600 billion inflow. Let's cut that in half. $300 billion inflow gives us $22 Ripple. So $300 billion inflow, maybe about a $15 trillion market cap. There you go. So 300 billion inflow would put, about, put us at about $15 trillion market cap for the entire crypto space, and that's a lot of money. That's a lot, and we're only at $22 XRP. So how would we get to a $589 all-time high XRP price. That's right, I'm changing my XRP all-time high price to 588. I'm conservative now. I'm a conservative price prediction analyst. That's right. And uh, if you go look at my Twitter, I just put this up yesterday. It's a poll. It's still gonna run for another few days. It's gonna run for possibly another four days, this poll I just put up. It's a uh, how high per XRP, please retweet, okay? Um, do you think it's gonna be under $25 all-time high, under $100 all-time high, under 589 all-time high, or under $1,000? Notice I didn't put above 1,000. I didn't put the possibility for it to be above 1,000. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we here. That's right. That's right. I'm, we're not, if you are part of the 20K XRP crew, shh, let's just not talk about it anymore. Okay, shh. 588 is the new call. And it actually, 588 puts me in the very conservative group because I'm actually um, thinking it's under 588. That puts me in the 25%. Um, of conservative people thinking it's going to be under 589 and 35% uh, of you still thinking it's going to be over a thousand dollars and I remember some people came out and were upset with my 20k price prediction because they thought I might be negatively influencing the market or negatively influencing the public I just want to see what you guys think you guys are still confident over a thousand dollars for per XRP I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna be a conservative guy I'm gonna put 588 all-time high that's right 588 all time high. That's still okay with me. And especially if you want to make a million dollars, if you want to be a millionaire, and you're like, ah, oh, shoot, 588 is all time high, that means you need to have at least 1700 XRP. 1700 XRP is the how many you need to be rich if millionaire is rich. Now, we discovered a Spanish shipwreck off the coast of. Nope. Hi. Uh... Could you turn that down just a little bit? But I, Someone I, yesterday I, tweeted at me. They challenged one of my XRP posts on Twitter. They were like, you so stupid. You should have stole it $3, etc., etc." Ha, 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 emoji, emoji. And I responded. I said, I would never sell at $3. My position on XRP is so long, I might not even sell out at all. That's right. That's my dance. That's my happy dance because I might not sell out of XRP at all. If XRP becomes the, the interoperable one world base currency and if I can use it to exist on the internet of value, why would I sell out? That's the only currency I want. Uh -huh. My guests are in here, detective, but what are you doing from the left, dear? One serves from the left. Whatever's gotten into you, Calpurnia? My mistake, ma'am. Well, anyway, so it's going to go to 588, all-time high. We made a prediction. We made a uh, poll. You guys can go You can guys can go check on it. It's at 420 votes. I'm not making this up. It's right there, 420 votes. So... How does Bearable Guy think it's going to go to 589? Who is Bearable Guy anyway? First off, who is Bearable Guy anyway? I like Bearable Guy, actually. The other day, actually, Bearable Guy commented on my video and said, thanks. And I said, I said, heart. I like it. Um, I support Bearable Guy. Bearable Guy and I, we have a rapport. Best friend! So knowing what we know now with 6 billion 
just put 6B inflow equaled 300 billion market cap, right? Now, we're at, XRP is at 43 cents, and we're at 250 billion, so about 5 billion in flow. These are very loose, these are very rough estimates. 5 billion inflow, 250 billion market cap. Now we need, we want XRP at 589. What's the difference here? What's the difference? Let's use our percentage calculator. 136,000%. So per cent is really just per 100. So let's do 136,644 divided by 100. So times 1366.44. 1366.44. So if we multiply 0.43, times 16 or 1366.44 we should have 587.5 so 1366.44 is our multiple so what happens if we multiply 5 billion inflow times this number 5 billion well that's a lot of billions um, that's it's about six, seven trillion dollars. So about seven trillion inflow. Let's go back all the world's money, 5.4 trillion dollars and currency, bank notes, coins and bank notes. 7.6 trillion dollars. That's about the exact number we would see for 589 XRP. What? I know. I know. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. <gasps> That's right, boys and girls. If the currency of the world went into XRP, we would have 589. Or if the world's gold, if the world's gold value, $7.7 .7 trillion, was transferred into XRP, we'd have 589. 588. 588, 589. So I'm changing my all time high price prediction. I'm scrapping 20K. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Sorry if that's the worst news ever to you. I just feel like there's a lot of people that it hurts their brains to imagine a higher number than something we've already agreed upon or approved. Since a cartoon bear has made a 589 price prediction and people think that's okay, I'm gonna be a conservative price analyst now and we're gonna say right under that 588, not end of year. I'm saying 588 all time high, 588 all time high. I've seen some people in XRP be upset if anyone suggests XRP price going over a hundred dollars. And people have said, people have said tens of trillions of dollars headed in and that's only one trillion inflow. That's one trillion inflow and you hit $86 XRP. Here we are closing the video. Why 589? Who is bearable guy? That's all we're going to do. Cheers. Thanks a bunch. I hope you have a great day. I got a live stream coming out, another video later. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Cheers as always. I have a great day until I see you next time. Bye bye. Brought to you. Brought to you.